audience won't forget hearing the singing rods. These rods create a memorable demo and illustrate concepts of waves, sound, and resonance. These specially designed rods are marked in the center and at either end at a fourth of the length of the rod. These marks indicate the position where the rod should be held during the demonstration. First, get some of the supplied rosin on your first finger and thumb. This stickiness will create the friction required to produce the sounds of the singing rod. This takes some practice. Hold the rod in the center between two fingers. Stroke the rod with your rosin-covered fingers from center to end until you hear the unmistakable sound of the singing rod. As you apply more and more friction, resonance in the rod makes vibrations large enough to make a sound. Each successive stroke on the rod adds to the amplitude of the vibration. By continuing this action, the sound will become louder and louder and will certainly get your students' attention. Teachers down the hall will also wonder what you are up to. When you touch the rod near the end, the vibrations are dampened and the sound stops. Ask your students why you can hold the rod in the middle and still hear the sound. Use this demo as a review to see what your students have learned about nodes and antinodes. Try creating a new pitch by holding the rod at one of the other marks. The wavelength of this wave is half as long as the original wave, therefore its frequency is twice as high. Hold the rod at one of the other nodes to show that it can still vibrate. Science is loud and fun.